But in last year's championships, the return of the British ice dance champions, Torval and Dean. This couple literally revolutionized ice dancing with their landmark performance. Remember Bolero in winning the gold, 84 games? They had not competed here in five years, so this return to Landover provided the opportunity to once again test their unique qualities, their creativity. Was it still there? Well, they were equipped with an immediate surprise, skating without music in their technical program. And then they earned a perfect score in their artistic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, Torval and Dean. They choose to skate without music, which is a simple but very clever idea and one that we've never seen in competition before. And you can hear the reaction in the audience, some having difficulty understanding this creativity. At first it appears to be an audio malfunction, but what it does for me, it actually heightens my sense of sound. Listen to their blades.
Porter and Christopher D. Coming up, more Encore performances. What do you smell? I can't smell anything. Twice denied an Olympic gold medal, Canadian Brian Orser is still considered by many to be one of the best ever free skaters in the world. Here in Landover, he proved again that he's a big crowd favorite. Brian has the agility of a cat, and this is going to be a fun one. No Canadian has ever done what Orser has accomplished eight consecutive years the national champion from 1981 through competitor. You know, these championships, uh, it's an event where every year we go home and saying, wish you were here. Well, we're glad you're with us today. And last year, we applauded another comeback to professional competition with the return of 1980 Olympic gold medalist Robin Cousins. Against the formidable likes of Brian Boitano and Brian Orser, Cousins showcased his trademark qualities. Grace, elegance. The crowd at Landover responded appropriately on its feet. Here's Robin Cousins' moving artistic program. Boitano used it last year. This from Robin is a completely different and wonderful interpretation.
capturing the Olympic gold medal in 1980. Welcome back. He's a master. The professional figure skating championships encore performance. Debbie Thomas returned to Landover to defend her two-time professional title. And you might recall two years ago, she won the championship after arriving here the day of the event because of her academic demands at Stanford University. Yet with barely any practice, she managed to prevail. Well, last year, the scenario was the same. The result was not. She finished a disappointing third. Nevertheless, her artistic performance offered evidence of the world championship qualities of this very special talent. Here's Debbie Thomas. Debbie's work, her drive and determination. And she knows she's not in top form now, and it must be very difficult for her even to get out there. Now we only see glimmers of that sparkle. Like the double axle, that was lovely. Keep your hands.
Christopher Dean. After a daring technical program, Torval and Dean were back with a captivating artistic performance, which earned them a perfect score. They've selected John Lennon's music, first Revolution, later Imagine. Say you want a revolution. of this first piece is based on action-reaction. Chris instigates the movement and Jane recoils in response. But when you talk about destruction Don't you know that you can count me From a technical point of view, the constant twisting and shoving is extremely difficult. They have to be very strong individual skaters to withstand the movement.
seen the violence of revolution, now it's peace, unity, and hope. Imagine there's no heaven. Despite that little hiccup at the end, continuing to impact their sport. And a royal welcome back for this regal partnership from the Capitol Center audience. After six attempts at winning the professional title, Rosalind Sumners came closest last year, and she did it with this artistic program.
Holding up the double axle. Beautifully done. Now that is her most difficult move. Roz was just 20 when she finished second to Katerina Vitt in Sarajevo in the 84 Olympic Games and went home. She's a homegirl, self-described. And Edmonds, Washington, honored her by naming Fifth Avenue after Rosalind Sumner's Boulevard. After seven years of professional experience, Roz is comfortable under the spotlight. And although she's not executing the technical difficulty that the other girls are capable of, she is maximizing her full potential. seventh consecutive year in Landover, will the seventh be her lucky charm? Every year she arrives at this competition well prepared. Rosalind Sumner. You have to appreciate that. Another outstanding Soviet dance couple, Natalia Anenko and Gimrik Stritensky. They made their professional debut here in Landover and immediately impressed the audience with their classic style.
Damianenko and Genrich Svetlinski. Anenko and Skritensky. And we'll be back with Pears' favorites Underhill and Martini from Canada when we return to the Capitol Center. While the Pears' competition was filled with Soviet and American Olympic stars, the perennial professional champions here at Landover have been the Canadians, Barbara Underhill and Paul Martini. They had won the World Professional Figure Skating Championship six times and last year as defending champions returned. Remember two years ago, though, when they were victorious with that program, provocative and sensuous, skated to When a Man Loves a Woman, a program hot enough to melt the ice? Well, the question was, could they top it? Her incredibly popular Underhill and Martini, currently in first place. They've established themselves as the best professional pair in the world. And let's see what they've come up with. The audience approves of the musical choice. Unchained Melody, The Righteous Brothers. This is becoming a uh, mini-series here in Landover. That's right. They are continuing the saga of the couple that they portrayed last year. This is his answer to her when a man loves a woman. And you'd never know it by watching her skate, but Barbara's been desperately ill with the stomach flu. She hasn't eaten for the last two days. much happening between them on the ice people wonder about their personal lives well she'll be married next august he is married has a two-year-old son robert barb was completely taken by surprise in the dressing room earlier when ekaterina gordieva pulled her aside to say that her dream was to skate just like Barb. Well, that's a supreme compliment. Sure is.
standing ovation for the champions under Helen Martini. You'd never know, looking at Barbara, that she's been desperately ill. She hasn't eaten for two days. What a performance. Barbara Underhill and Paul Martini. Coming up, more Encore Performances. Red the ladies' champion last year was Denise Bielman of Switzerland. Renowned as a technical skater, her unique choreography seemed contradictory to some American tastes. Yet she insisted on using her own interpretations, and she was right. Winning the title with this artistic performance. although not as well executed as we're used to. smile you just ache for to use it on the ice she has all the ingredients she's athletic she moves well she has natural rhythm it would be nice to see her put it all together the first ever Swiss woman to win a world championship as an amateur as she won the championship in Landover today.
One of the most entertaining events in last year's competition, this performance by the American dance team of Win and Drawer. Boitano when we return. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed our pre-holiday special of encore skating performances. It's always a thrill for me personally in any sport that I cover to see the greatest talent in the world in competition. And it's especially enjoyable to follow skaters as they have matured since the successes of their amateur days. And in that theme, we'd like to end today's program with a skater who aches to be in Alberville for the Olympic Games this winter. If he was eligible, he'd probably be favored for another Olympic gold. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1988 Olympic champion, Brian Boitano.
Brian has no trouble doing any of the difficult jumps and spins. But being basically a shy guy, for him, the hardest thing he's had to learn as a pro is to look at the audience and smile. Yes, I made an impression on somebody north of Hessen and South of France. Well, he's got the audience smiling. So in my small way, I'm a big man, I'm loving. Thank you for joining us on this special presentation of Encore Performances. For Sandra Bessick, this is Dick Ember. So long, everyone. And here are the gold medal winners in Ice Dance, Isabel and Paul Duchesnay. French Canadians raised in Quebec took advantage of dual citizenship to escape for France since 1986, training in nearby Oberstdorf, Germany, and now here in Munich, where they won the gold. This is actually the second half of the free dance that they performed to win the gold. It was choreographed by Christopher Dean, and Isabel and Christopher are engaged to be married in May. Just another couple until Christopher Dean took over their choreography before the 1988 Olympics.
different expression on Isabel's face in this performance. Obviously, we know the pressure's off and there are no judges they have to please. And throughout the course of our coverage, you saw that Isabel runs the show. She had her brother Paul taking some pretty tough verbal shots. He even took an elbow in practice. He had a black eye when they came to Munich. Called brother and sister. I know what that means. That's right. You and your brother Val had to go through it as five-time Canadian champions. But they finally uh, won the favor of the judges here in Munich. The crowd has loved this couple for a long time. Isabel and Paul Duchesne. They go to Albertville next year as the favorites to win the gold in the Olympics. But the problem for them is that they will be coming in as defending world champions and they're going to have to go for a title on home turf. You can hear the gasping for breath by Isabel and Paul as they uh, try to grab a quick swallow of Munich here and go out for their encore. Well, they've progressed rather neatly since 88 when they were eighth in the Olympics, third in the world two years ago, second last year, golden in 91. This is a terrific number. It's their tango that they competed with in 88 Olympics for the original set pattern. I wish they would do something like this for a free dance. Nineteen ninety one World Ice Dance Champions, Isabel and Paul Duchene. World Championships history was authored by the American ladies. For the first time ever in the history of the World Figure Skating Championships, three Americans stood atop the victory stand. Tallest of all, Christy Yamaguchi of the United States winning the gold. Let's relive 